What up, YouTube? I just got done hitting uh, some Sunday run day cardio. Did some barefoot running. You might be able to see with my dirty feet. I used to walk around a lot when I was a little kid in California, barefoot on the blacktop. And my feet were just jet black 24 seven. So I didn't take showers either. That was weird. Um, and I think running barefoot reminds me of that a little bit. It makes me feel like a kid again. But, you know, barefoot running isn't the subject of this video. I kind of wanted to talk about or talk about how you need to kill yourself in your training. And this doesn't mean every single day you need to go balls to the wall to failure on every single set or every single workout. What this means is there's certain days, certain chapters in your life when you really feel like you need to test yourself. You really feel like you need to transcend your current self or your current methodology of training. You know, maybe you hit your six weeks in your six week program and you feel stagnant, you feel bored, you feel unchallenged. And that's where these, for lack of a better word, suicidal workouts come in. And for me, you know, generally speaking, when I do these, it's in the gym, you know, I'll throw together some cardio into a superset just to really have my lungs and my muscles burning. Today, it was to do some sprints. For those of you who don't know, I have a genetic condition in both my knees, osteochondritis dissecans, really similar to arthritis in the way that it, um, basically I have a lack of blood flow to the cartilage in my knees and due to that, the cartilage will end up dying. The dead pieces will chip away because they no longer have blood flow to stay attached to the main vessel of cartilage. And those little chunks will get stuck in little areas of my knee, my joint capsule. I even had one in my super patellar pouch, which is about right in this zone, right above the kneecap. Um, and my left knee, you can see like one of the scars right there. It's arthroscopic surgery to get it out, it wasn't bad. Um, I had a torn meniscus in my left one too and they went in there, that's besides the point. Um, but they jingle their way into unfortunate spots and really cause a lot of pain, kind of um, jarring sensation of just uh, something being shoved into joint capsule, cartilage, whatever it's getting jammed into and it, and it hurts. So running, I'm not trying to complain here, I'm just trying to define. Um, running seems to bring about that pain once I get going for a little bit, the uh, adrenaline kicks in and it turns the uh, seven to eight out of 10 on the pain scale to like a four. You know what I mean? Like it's there, but it's manageable. Um, so running is a very painful act for me, but I, I love it. I truly do. It's, it's a different feeling. It's going all four quarters. It's continual perseverance where in the gym it seems as though that's harder to find it's something cardio brings about i get a similar feeling from boxing i think it's i've defined it before for myself as working out in the gym with weights is uh therapeutic it's how i keep myself sane it's how i reach kaizen you know constant improvement or I fulfill that. I don't know if Kaizen's a state or a verb, but you get the point. Um, whereas cardio is more of a anger reliever, stress reliever, anxiety reliever, because I think anxiety, stress, and anger are all three the same thing, just masked in different uh, situations. Um, but it's a very similar feeling. I'd just describe it all as anger, you know, to keep it very general. Um, so I run to release anger and I can't run often because of my knees. So I only do it once to two times a week. Today I came out here to go do some sprints. I started running and the very first sprint, I live streamed it on my Instagram too. It'll probably be up there later if the connection's okay. Felt like I was gonna tear my right quad. 
uh, really, really hurt. I'm not normally someone to get tight in my quads. Um, so I probably just need to foam roll it. I ate a banana beforehand. Um, but I realized that I couldn't kill myself through sprints. You know, well, gee willikers, man. I would really planned to do that. Uh, but I didn't take no as an answer. I stretched out a little bit. And I said this metaphor in my head. And it's kind of like, you know, someone going to, because I'm, I'm talking about suicidal workouts, basically. It's like someone going to kill themselves and they shoot the gun and it's empty. <laughs> you know, you come out here to do all this uh, big fancy thing and, well, I guess you can't. So I had to find a different way to kill myself. And that was to do suicides, which is, you know, you run from the uh, end zone to the 100, then back to the end zone, then to the 10 on the opposite side, down 20 until you get all the way back to the 10 on your side of the field. So I did two sets of those. Um, second set was a lot weaker than the first just because I was tired and I wanted to go fast. Durr. Um, but there comes a certain point in your training, and this is the actual point of the video that I'm trying to get across, is that to become a better athlete, to become a better person, to become the absolute best version of yourself that this world and you both deserve, you have to be willing to hurt yourself. You have to be willing to kill yourself. You have to be willing to be a warrior and lay your life down on this field, in the gym, on the battlefield, whatever the metaphor that will affect you the most is. You can't coast. You have to push yourself. And you know, I'm probably doing more harm than good physically when I run. You know, that, tr that cartilage is chipping apart even more and more. But I compare the damage I do to myself when I run to the damage an addict would do when they fulfill their alcoholism they fulfill their heroin addiction. You know, they um, fulfill their sugar addiction because they drink so many sodas every day, every day and sugary goods to the point where their body craves it. My body craves movement. My body craves exercise. My body craves running. So rather than going through my life ignoring the physical crave for exercise and physical transcendence you know I could ignore that and then maybe I become a alcoholic because these cravings don't disappear they're just substituted with something else so if I didn't run I'd be out still getting drunk and partying every weekend and getting arrested for it if I didn't run I'd be out getting high every day hoping it would solve my problems if I didn't run, I'd be out breaking th thing. I'd be breaking things when my anger comes out of me. I'd be being an asshole when it's unneeded to people. So I run so that I can do the damage that I see to be the least harmful to myself when I need to transcend. Because what does someone do when they take heroin? They want to get higher. They want to transcend. They want to leave this plane. What does someone do when they go on an acid trip? They want to leave their reality and maybe get some answers or see things from a different perspective. What does an alcoholic do? They escape. They transcend. They leave their current problems. So that's what I do when I run. That's what I do when I exercise. I'm trying to leave this cocoon that I'm in right now. I'm trying to transcend into, I'm using transcend a lot, I like that word. I'm trying to transcend into the butterfly that I know I am to become, and maybe I already am. I might just be a butterfly who doesn't know how to use his wings to his fullest ability yet. You know, maybe it's compared to a chicken who can't fly, or a penguin, you know. But I'm gonna get there. And I'm gonna get there by running, lifting weights, and talking to this camera.